What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am so freaking sorry that this video is coming at you this late. Honestly, this video was supposed to be up about two or three months ago and I really apologize. There's literally no excuse for that. So I'm sorry. Better late than never. Maybe. Maybe. So anyways, this video is a Q&A. So I will be answering all of your questions via Instagram and YouTube. So here we go, guys. I'm just going to start really fast. I'm going to be shouting out um, you guys who ask the questions. And if I butcher your name, I'm sorry. my girl Lizette Renee hey girl so she asked four different questions you go girl oh if you could trade lives with anybody in the world for one day who would it be and why I think it'd be interesting to actually switch lives with my significant other James because I want to see what he sees in me in all honesty James and I um, were super compatible but we're so opposite in a lot of different ways he is in academia he's like achieving these high degrees and I um, you know, I uh, took a different route and here I am on YouTube. So uh, we're very different, but I think that's what we're like yin and yang. Okay, we're like a puzzle piece. So I want to see what it's like being him, being so smart. Uh, if you could spend a day with any celebrity, who would it be and why? Amelia Clark. You know, Game of Thrones, Daenerys, hello. She's a badass and in real life, seeing the interviews with her, she seems like the coolest chick. Like, I just want to have a drink with her. I want to meet her at the bar and let's chit chat and just crack each other up all night. That sounds good to me, okay? Do you plan on having any kids? And if so, how many? I'm gonna be real with you, girl. This girl ain't ready for kids, okay? Can't really picture myself being a mom. <laughs> you know, it's like something foreign to me and I just don't think I would hang very well. If I did, I'd have to have two. Can't just have one because it's gonna be lonely. You're gonna have to have two. But more than two is just kinda like, come on now, how am I gonna afford everybody's college, right? If you could vacation any place in the world, where would it be and why? Honestly, I love traveling, I really do. I wanna see lots and lots of places. I have a big bucket list. But right now, at this point in time, I honestly just want to see my brother in California, okay? That's, that's a vacation to me. Eerie Life asks, what's your favorite TV show or movie? Uh, right now, right frickin' now, okay? Game of Thrones season eight, yeah! My neighbor's probably like, what the heck was that? Huge Game of Thrones fan. I love, love, love Vikings. That was amazing. Uh, I love everything that like takes place way back in the day. Oh, we just finished Downton Abbey. Oh my God. Really hurt when it was over. That was a stinger, okay? That was a sting in the heart. I'm not gonna lie. I've also been binge watching a lot of 90s shows because I'm getting that nostalgic feeling and I'm getting old. So, <laughs> S.T. Long asked, what is your favorite task? I don't even know what defines a task. Is that like a chore? My favorite task is probably getting rid of things. I love to minimalize and just kind of keep things simple and clean and any chance I get to just throw something out, it's a good day for me. <laughs> Moving on to some YouTube uh, questions. Some are about YouTube and some are just questions from YouTube. So let me see what I got here, where the heck? Question number one is from James Divine. Why are you so beautiful? That's my bae. In case you didn't know that, that is my bae. He wrote on my public discussion community wall on YouTube. <sighs> bae, what you doing? He's so sweet. Okay, Sandra Cherry, do you have a full-time job? Okay, this question I feel like I get more than any other question ever. Y'all really wanna know what I do for a living, don't you? I work with James right now. I mean, he does his own thing. He has um, jobs in his field right now as he's going to school for his master's degree. I am home full time working on YouTube and Instagram. Um, he works with me and honestly, any time that he can during the week to helping me take photos, helping me work a brand advertisement, things like that, uh, even helping me film sometimes. Like he is just, Incredible. That is what I do right now because I don't like working for people. I like working with people, with brands. That is my thing. I hope to have my own brand one day. There you go. I said it. Emily Ryan asked, what is your, oh, she asked four different questions. Woo, girl. Yeah, baby, you get the golden star. What does your perfect day look like? I'll start with that one. My perfect day is honestly, as long as there's family, some form of nature, um, probably like going for a hike or 
even being indoors during a big snowstorm. I love that. That's like a perfect day. Snow days are the best days. But so are like sovereign days when like there's not a cloud in the sky and you're just like running around in a field. Both are awesome. Okay, uh, what is your dream vacation? I kind of answered this before. I mean, yes, I do want to travel. I want to see Australia. I want to see Japan. I want to see Italy because I'm Italian. I want to see a lot. I just want to see all of Europe. I want to see everything. I really do want to see Australia though. That's like kind of number one, I'm not gonna lie. The London under. I want to know about it and I want to see a kangaroo, okay? But yeah, I'd rather see my brother over anybody. <laughs> Love you, Vincenzo. Do you collect anything? Do you collect one thing only? And I'm not a collector, because you know me, I like to keep things minimal and simple and I'm like semi-minimalist. Pins from National Parks. James and I got addicted to national parks. They're the most beautiful places on the earth. Like I, I, it's something that nothing can compare to and my soul is happy. We decided to start a pin collection and we're keeping it going. So far we have 16. We've been to 16 national parks and I believe there's like 52. So we still got a ways to go, but uh, what are your hobbies besides YouTube? I love to work out. I'm not going to lie. I. I I'm addicted to working out and I love it. It clears my mind. It's it's it just works wonders for me. That is like my number one hobby. I like to work out. I love it. Just being physically active, just releasing those endorphins, getting you like hyped up in life. That's where I'm at. I absolutely love watching movies and I love taking pictures. I love photography, photo editing. I always said to James, if I could get a job, just all I do all day is just edit photos and make them pretty. That's my dream job, other than YouTube. Yeah. I like that. I like editing. Bridget Snyder asks, hey girl, what is your profession? Hey girl. Kind of answered that before. Um, yeah, I guess you can call this my profession. It is what I do full time. I want to build something myself. I want to create something and trust me, it's all in here. And I just am in the process of building myself to get there one day. So Kin asks, really trying to get into the gym more this year and being healthier. So what is your favorite type of workout? And what do you do to stay fit? That's awesome that you're getting back into it, girl, get it. So right now I have about 20 minutes of cardio a day incorporated with strength training. I mix my workouts uh, between lifting weights and uh, using body weight. I think just a healthy rounded spectrum is how you want to be, okay? I don't think cutting anything out that's just not for me. Everybody's body's different, believe me, I know. Uh, but for me, yeah, I do split up my workouts for the week. So I, for the most part, but if I'm sore, I will neglect that area of the body no matter what, because you gotta listen to your body. I honestly, I think it's just all about balance and eating right, eating what your body needs. I work out about five days a week. And for the most part, I do eat very healthy, but I do indulge on holidays. At least one day a week, I will eat whatever I want. It's actually a really good metabolism booster. So you just gotta know your body. You just gotta listen up on it. Inspired by tour, hey baby. Um, how do you balance work, relationships, life, and YouTube? What's your 2019 quote? My work and my relationship, it's kind of easy because James and I kind of work together and when he's off at work or school, that's when I'm doing things like this. <laughs> or editing, I do a lot of editing, but when he's around, when he's got time off, that's when we're shooting pictures, videos where I need him to, you know, get different angles. So we have a nice balanced relationship in that in that aspect. I think priorities and the fact that I literally have no life outside of James, my family, and YouTube. I think that has a lot to do with it. But I think you just gotta figure out what works for you and what makes you happiest and have uh, priorities set. Okay. What's your 2019 quote? Something my dad always said, and James actually started saying it too, ironically enough, um, build it and they will come. And I, that sticks out to me because a lot of people can get discouraged when you don't see results right away. You can easily discourage yourself from hitting your goals. I think you just have to focus on enjoying the material you're putting out there, focusing on quality content, and just kind of doing what you love and if you do that, people will eventually gravitate towards you, I think. Lucia Alvarez. Hope I said that right, baby. Uh, what is your go-to skincare routine? How do you keep your skin glowing? Oh, thank you. I use a charcoal face cleanser from Biore that I love. It's just meant to deep clean your pores, get rid of acne, stop future acne from forming. Love that stuff. Um, and I use 
facial serums. I use vitamin C oils. I use a little bit of retinol. Hyaluronic acid is very good for your, your skin. It's hydrating. It helps seal in moisture because when your skin dries out too much, that is what basically causes wrinkles. If you smile, you're cracking your skin if it's too dry. So always make sure that it's very hydrated. Always use sunscreen every day before you leave, even if it's cloudy outside because you do have UV rays that go through them clouds and onto your face. Lucia also asked, are you married? If so, how long have you been married? Uh, to let you in on a little personal information, recently he asked my daddy -o for uh, permission, if you know what I mean. He asked for this. So that leads me to believe that he wants to marry me, but I don't like really talking about it too much because A, I don't want to jinx anything, and B, it's kind of weird like talking about it. I feel like it just should be something so freaking spontaneous, not even talked about, like we shouldn't even like bring it up. He should just like get down on one knee and me just go, ah, oh my god, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> All right, Black Queen asked, what motivates you to keep up with your channel? What is your biggest fear? By the way, love your channel. You're super nice and supportive. Thank you, thank you. You're so sweet, I appreciate that very much. What motivates me to keep up with my channel, honestly, because I couldn't see myself doing anything else. And I know that sounds insane, but I hit a really like low point where I felt like a robot going to and from school, doing these assignments, and I was just like not happy at all. I started my YouTube channel. It was only a year and like three months ago. And since then, my love for YouTube has grown so freaking much, and that goes for Instagram as well. I just love these platforms, and I love being able to talk to you guys and relate to each other and chit chat. You're my online family, online community. We bring each other up, baby. I love it, man. I love it. I wouldn't. That's what keeps me going and motivated for the channel is the fact that I love it. It's not in my heart to get any other job, to do anything else. I love what I do right here, right now. I may not be rich, but I love what I do. So in a sense, that makes you rich, right? My biggest fear, this is really a great question, and here it is. I fear sometimes that as my channel grows and more people become interested in it, I fear letting them down. I have a fear of letting my subscribers down and not doing or producing the quality of work that I'm capable of. I believe that's just an internal fear of me just wanting to do right by you guys and keep you guys happy. Next question, uh, Ruth Regozas, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, uh, Life asks, I just gave birth eight weeks ago. What's the best exercise to recover faster? Congratulations. <laughs> It depends on what you're looking for in terms of recovery and everybody's different, everybody's body's different. So you just gotta listen to your body and, and feel like what it is that you need. But honestly, I would say, here's my best advice right here, right now is, your body just underwent a lot. <laughs> Giving birth is one of the most traumatic things. A woman's body, not traumatic in a sense that it's a bad thing, it's a wonderful, beautiful thing. But in terms of like what goes on with your body during that time, you just went through some stuff, okay, girlfriend? Right now, your body is at a real delicate, fragile state right now. So you gotta be kind to your body and you gotta not overdo it. Do not be too strict on yourself. I would not suggest you going cold turkey on the, like, eating wise diets. Don't ever do anything that's unhealthy, that doesn't feel right to you or your body. Just kind of keep it consistent. Uh, if you need to start losing weight, um, they have plenty of workout guides online and things like that. I think just taking care of yourself, uh, incorporating diet and exercise, um, not limiting yourself, don't go, you know, any of these crazy, crazy diets. You know, if your body needs something, give it, give it to your body. Start slow and get to where you want to get, but take it easy because your body, your body needs you right now. All right, girl, your body needs you. Maggie Hardy asks, what is your favorite part of the day or about your day? My favorite part of the day is either first thing in the morning or right before bed. <laughs> uh, first thing in the morning is wonderful because I get to wake up to the love of my life. It brings me my coffee every single morning, so sweet. I don't deserve him, I know, I know. Just seeing him every single morning, that's the best. And then right before bed, when we're finally winding down, I'm done with my work, he's done with his work. We put away our phones and we just, 
snuggle and watch a movie. That's it. Last question. Alyssa Michelle asks, what's something you're extremely passionate about? If you could travel to one place right now, where would it be and why? What's one thing you want to do before you die? Oh my God. Something I'm extremely passionate about right now. What I'm doing right now on YouTube, on Instagram. I've always been passionate about YouTube, but lately because I have been more focalized on what I'm, you know, what kind of content I'm creating. It is about empowering women. It is about feeling good in your body. Never ever letting anybody tell you that you're not good enough, that you don't look a certain way. Don't listen to anybody that tries to tell you that girlfriend. You tell them to talk to Ashley Gata. Okay, that's not okay. I wanna make this channel and my Instagram an easy, very acceptable platform where any woman, anybody can feel comfortable there and not feel alienated, not feel um, intimidated, none of that. Nobody likes that. Leave it at the door, baby. I'm just your average girl, just sharing my passion and my advice for healthy living. And I just wanna be relatable to the everyday girl, woman, all of you guys. If you could travel to one place right now, where would it be? Answer that before I wanna go see my bro. And what's one thing you wanna do before you die? Honestly, at this point, I just wanna marry the love of my life, okay? That's what I wanna do. Oh, don't make me cry. Oh. I'm not gonna cry. No girl don't cry on camera, she don't do that. That's really all that matters at the end of the day. That was it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you made it to the end, I love you. I love you, thank you. You're so sweet, I love you. Thank you to everybody who submitted some questions. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you so much. I will see you guys in my next video.